What's going on Collectors Optical 20 back again for another video game peripheral review this time it's the Pandora's Box 9 arcade machine I guess that's what you want to call them uh, I was planning to get that um, Marvel arcade one up but it's uh, I just don't have the space for it you know I I, I'm, I suppose I can create some. I just really wanted it just because of the design and the games that's in it. But I just, you know, I don't have the space. So I decided to pick this one up instead. Uh, this one, as you can see from the back, this are the ports. It has the 12 volts. So what you do is the it's via HDMI. You just kind of attach it here. It's a controller, arcade controller for two players. And uh, it has like a 1,500 games or something like that. Which includes the uh, Marvel versus Capcom and uh, X-Men Children of Adam and all that stuff. And you can see the on and off. This is basically what you just need to do. Put it on an AC adapter, uh, put the HDMI, and that's it. And you see some other ports out there that you can insert as well, like VGA and all that stuff. So this is how it's going to look like. It's uh, Pandora's Key Box or Pandora's Box 9. You can find the games online. There's like a thousand games, but some of them were repeating games, so it's not really a 1500 games, but still pretty, a pretty good amount of games. And this is significantly cheaper than um, the Arcade One Up because the Arcade One Up retails for $300. I got this for like 110, so a third of the price, but has a gazillion of more games than the Arcade One Up. As you can see, it comes with Marvel vs. Capcom. The Arcade One Up is better in terms of you know the in terms of look this is more like a plug and play sort of um, arcade machine and it also has two players if, if you got kids which i do you know they enjoy playing this one you can you can just plug it into a regular monitor as you can see with mine here uh, it does the sound comes out from the unit itself so you, the, if, if it's a computer monitor without speaker that would still work but as you can see here, it's Marvel vs. Capcom. The, the regular arcade one-up comes with uh, Marvel X-Men, I guess. Although just Marvel superheroes, Mar uh, Children of Adam, and then Punisher. Which this unit has all three of those um, games running pretty well. So you can see here, the, the sounds are pretty good. I, I guess the emulation is, is, is decent. There are some games like Mortal Kombat, which is unplayable. Yo, but uh, the good thing is I have that on Arcade 1UP. This uh, this is a good alternative, I suppose, if you don't have the space nor the funds to get the Arcade 1UPs. And if you just want to have some nostalgia every once in a while, uh, which is, that's just what I do. You know, I, I every once in a while I have the feel for, you know, running this this classic games and whenever I do I just, you know, decided to put this in here and then to change games you just hit coin and it'll bring you back to the main main screen the i wouldn't say the problem is if you're scrolling to a thousand games you know and you do it manually there's a lot of movement that you gotta do you can see wwf superstars these are all the arcade games that i um, i used to love back in the day where they keep on just getting my coins and now I have them in the palm of my hand. And also X-Men. There's an X-Men game here that are the four-player mode that I wish that um I didn't finish this back in the day because it requires so many quarters that I just don't have that kind of money. So now I finished it because you, it feels like you have infinite coins. So it only took me 20 years or maybe 30 years to finish this uh, arcade games that I was never able to. Like Ninja Turtles are here too, uh, I believe one of them at least uh, not both ninja turtles but it's you know here here you go marvel superheroes it's it's great if you just want to play it every once in a while or, or all the time you know you can put this on your tv and it doesn't have the display factor as arcade one up but at the same time if you don't have the space anyway you know it, it this might be a good alternative for you or a better alternative for you just because of the the amount of games that it comes with as well so you can see the emulation is pretty well i wanted it to be more authentic that hope uh, that i wishing that there's like an av because i still have an old tv but it doesn't it runs through hdmi or um, a vga but yeah thank you for watching guys hopefully you like this video hopefully it helps you out if you're like gamer like me so if you're like into retro games arcade thank you for watching